Hello. In this video, I'm going to discuss quickly some text messages that you can send to your ex to you get them thinking about you again. To rekindle some of the attraction and hopefully get back together with them. So first of all, why text? Why is texting such an effective way of contact with your ex if you desire to get them back? Well, for starters, it offers you time to consider in preparation. You can plan your text messages. You don't have to be put on the spot. And if your ex answers and you decide on another approach to the response to continue the conversation, you have time to think about it. You have time to construct your message and think intelligently. Because of course, the last thing you want to be doing is to be chatting to your ex in an illogical condition. Saying words that you're going to regret afterward, is going to drive your ex even further away. Also, texting does not express the same type of neediness or desperation as calling or in-person visits would imply. Because text messages are extremely informal, and straightforward, no longer than normally a few phrases. It's quite casual and doesn't indicate neediness the same manner other modes of communication do. Also, there's no pressure for your ex to respond. You don't want to be pressuring your ex into feeling that they need to respond. So that's another reason why texting is fantastic. It doesn't put any pressure on your ex. Now, before I go any further, I have to offer you a short warning here. You can't just send these text messages right now if you're not prepared. If you haven't set the stage, if your ex is not in a suitable state of mind, if you haven't done all the things leading up to the moment when you're ready to send text messages. So if you don't know what you need to be doing to prepare to get to this stage, click on the link in the description box, then watch the free video there. But again, don't send any of these texts until you're ready. Until you set the scene and done all the things necessary to bring your ex to the place where your ex will be open to receive these text messages. Now first let's speak about the kind of text messages you don't wish to send. Because that's very significant as well. I mean not every text message is going to be successful. In fact, if you send the incorrect text message, it's likely to have the opposite impact. It's going to push your ex even farther away. So, awful texts. Typically they're what I call, pointless texts. Stuff like, hello, what's up, how are you? Things that there's simply no type of interesting or funny or exciting aspect to the text message. Don't send these kinds of meaningless text. It's not going to help your case. Secondly, everything concerning romance, turmoil, break up. Anything linked to your relationship, don't address it. Just leave it alone. Your ex doesn't want to hear about the breakup, they don't want to hear about the romance. Text messaging should just be for sending enjoyable, intriguing things, that are going to restore attraction. And get your ex to think about you in a favorable manner. And of course, it also implies no drama, no rage, and no strife. Don't start any disputes. Don't look gloomy, and don't exhibit any heartbreak or feelings. Just text mainly only good things to your ex if you want them back. Now, what about these excellent text messages? What should you be texting your ex? Well, there's a lot of wonderful things that you could be messaging your ex, to get them thinking about you and provoke some happy memories about your relationship and your time together. But I'm going to concentrate on three particular text messages in this video. The first one is what I call the shared memory text. Again, as I mentioned, don't be sending this or any other text I'm going to be talking about till your ex is ready to be receptive and they're going to have the impact you wish. The shared memory text. What is it? Well, it's when you bring up a common memory that you and your ex enjoyed together. So for example, you may say something like, Hey, I heard the Spice Girls are going to perform at the McPherson Playhouse. I know you love them so I thought I'd just let you know. Hope everything is okay. Something like that. Really simple. And it's just simply bringing up a nice experience that you shared together with your ex so that they're going to think about you and link you with that positive memory with you. Now, of course, you're going to have to adapt this to your situation and to your ex but it shouldn't be too hard to come up with anything to say. On to the second text and this is what I call the question text. Pretty self-explanatory. Basically, you're sending a text to your ex to elicit a reaction and to cause them to think about you the same way that the shared memory text does. 
Now, what's an example of a question text? It can't simply be any question. You can't simply ask them, Hey, do you like cookies? What sort of a question would you ask? Well, something that preferably recalls a joyful memory. For example, Hey remember that beach we discovered last summer? The private cove? Do you recall which exit we took to get there? I want to take a friend there but I can't recall how to get there. So again, you're bringing up a nice memory. You're also hinting that you're going there with a friend, so there's little mystery there. Maybe it's a member of the opposing sex and you could be generating a little bit of jealousy, what I call covert jealousy. And you're also asking a question so you're going to hopefully receive an answer. You want to make sure you ask the appropriate question. You want your ex to be able to answer it and you want it to be meaningful and relevant so it doesn't look out of place or odd. And finally, the supportive text. This is a bit different from the other two text messages that I've been talking about. What you want to do is send a message that kind of reminds your ex of something that you did throughout your relationship frequently, that your ex really enjoyed or was extremely useful to them, or supportive. For example, say, throughout your relationship, you always helped him or her prepare for examinations in college. This a text message you can send, an encouraging text might be. Hey, I just remembered that you have that major test next week. I know you're anxious but I'm confident you'll do amazing. Good luck. Again, the idea here is only to provide a subtle reminder of one of the great aspects of something you did throughout your relationship consistently that your ex truly loved and appreciated. I'll say it again. I'm sorry to sound repetitious here but, you do not want to send any of these text messages until you've taken the appropriate measures to set the scene and build some rapport with your ex, and at that point, if your ex is going to be receptive, it will be really powerful and highly responsive. Trust me, I've seen this work hundreds of times. So, that's about it for this video here. If you do wish to get additional details, if you want to see additional example text messages, or you want to get to the point where you actually want to send these text messages and have them be very successful. Then just check the description box and click on the link to find out how to master these things and make your ex obsess over you. Also please consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. I'm going to upload a lot more videos coming soon. Thanks again, see you next time.